So one of the key things with the Environment Manager product is making sure that the personalization goes from desktop to desktop. Not just though from like one VDI desktop to another VDI desktop, but from a different type of desktop. So for example, a Windows XP VDI desktop, then to a terminal services Zen app delivered desktop as well. Traditionally and historically, these have been managed in two separate ways. On your um, standard desktops, you've had a roaming profile, and then in a terminal services desktop, you've had a terminal services roaming profile. What that meant was you had two sets of personality. AppSense wanted to address this and make sure that your personality went with you regardless of where you are. So in, in this case, on, on the right-hand side here, I have a standard Windows XP virtual desktop. If I just bring up the properties window, you'll see there that the operating system is Windows XP. This side here is a published Zen app desktop. So this is actually a Citrix, um, a Citrix application, a Citrix published desktop. You'll see that the operating system is Windows Server 2003. Traditionally, with a, with a standard roaming profile, you would separate these out. So you would have a standard desktop profile and a standard terminal services profile. The two would, would not really share the same, the same uh, personalization. With AppSense, what we wanted to do is make sure that your personalization followed you, regardless of, of your delivery mechanism. So, let me give you an example of what I mean. Over here, I'm going to start Microsoft Word, and you see Microsoft Word is, is in its nice vanilla state. So, I'm going to make some changes to Microsoft Word. First thing we're going to do is a nice visual change, change the color scheme. We'll go for a, for a black option there, and we'll put some of the, the, the view options on as well. So, the ruler, the grid lines, document map thumbnails, basically so it looks, it looks very, very very much different. I'm going to close this down. I'm now going to jump over to the, the terminal server and start the same application and you'll see that that personalization followed me. So let me do this again. What I'm going to do now is um, minimize the ribbon. Again, close that down, jump over to the, the desktop again and open it up and you'll see that we don't have the ribbon. So the personalization is following me regardless of where I go. Just to, uh, to give you another idea of this happening, let's open up Internet Explorer here. I'm going to do a couple of things to Internet Explorer. First thing I'm going to do is change my home page. So currently it's set to Google. I'm going to set it to AppSense. www.appsense.com. Uh, click OK on that. And I'm going to go ahead and add a favorite here. So we'll add Google as a favorite. I want to show you that that home page that I just set does actually preserve. So now you can see that it's actually going to AppSense.com and you get our, our nice home page there. Let's jump over to the, the terminal server here, open up Internet Explorer again, and you'll see again that that home page actually goes with me as well. Just to, just to uh, take that back again, tools, internet options, www.amazon.com, click apply and OK. And again, to show you that, that that change actually preserves on this desktop alone, you see it attempts to go to Amazon, jump back over here to the um, to the uh, desktop again, and you'll see that this also goes to Amazon as well. So this is an uh, this is an example of going from this is an example of going from one desktop to another, and keeping the personalization there.